Hi, my name is Kelsey and I work in marketing and today I'm going to be showing you what is in my grooming tote. So I currently am leasing a appendic quarter horse named Dewey and he really likes to roll in the mud. His nickname is Pigpen. So everything in here is what I use to keep him nice and clean or at least attempt to and let's get started. So I keep everything in my Roma Deluxe Grooming Tote. I really like the fact that it's just so big. I have a lot of things I like to carry. I like to keep it all in one spot. So it just allowed me to keep everything organized. I love all the different pockets and it's deep so I can keep, like I said, a lot of various things in it. So the first thing that I have is my long poly bristle brush. Um, as I mentioned, my horse likes to get muddy, so this has done a really nice job of just taking the dirt off and just kind of keeping his coat nice and clean. And once I am done with that, I'll usually move on to my soft brush, just to give him that nice finishing touch, keep him nice and shiny. He is a chestnut, so the more I can groom him and get those dapples and shines to come out, the better he looks. And when I'm done grooming him with my brushes, I like to use my Equus Premier Marigold Spray. Um, I bought that because I had heard great reviews about it. I knew one girl that had it and it smelled really good and that's another big reason why I bought it. So I used it all winter long to kind of keep his, you know, the dust off his coat. Um, he was clipped. So it just kind of helped refresh his coat a little bit after being under a stinky blanket all, all winter long. Oh, and I forgot to mention that I have my jelly scrub curry, whatever you want to call it. I really like the fact that I can use this for just regular everyday grooming and then as the summer is starting to come on, I can use it for a bath and I'm not going to worry about it getting damaged. Um, and it's got two different sides to it, so you know, nice, nice small side for his legs and a little bit rougher edge for the rest of his body. And hopefully once everything has gone well with the grooming, I'll put a little finishing touch of everyone's favorite, Shoshin. <laughs> um, I really like using this in his mane and tail, uh, and sometimes I'll just use it around, you know, his, you know, his body to just kind of make him shine a little bit. Um, we have show season coming up, so he needs to really be clean. One of the other items I really like to have in my grooming tote is the Smart Pack Lavender Utility Balm. I bought this because my horse had a couple of rubs on his legs this winter and I really just needed something to be able to just clean them up, soften the skin, try and encourage the hair to grow back. Um, this has done wonders for him and it doesn't smell too bad either so he smells like he's come out of a spa every time I'm done grooming him. And when he has been good and we've had good lessons and he's been good for grooming because sometimes he doesn't like to stand there all the time he gets a cantering chef treat um, this month I'm feeding him the apple cinnamon raisin he likes this one and he also likes the banana blast so those are two of my horse approved and suggested flavors so besides all of the items that I keep in here for grooming, I also keep a variety of uh, things for before, during, and after my ride. One of the things that I like to keep in here are my Tom Thumb Spurs. I usually use them when I'm hacking around or if I have them for a lesson, but I also just like to keep them handy in my grooming tote because you never know when you're going to need them. I also keep my Sam Shield V-Skin gloves. I have fallen in love with these gloves from the start. They feel almost like I'm not wearing gloves at all and they've stayed super soft throughout the whole time I've owned them and I've owned them probably about a year now. And I'll be honest, I can't let them go even when they're worn down. And then for my horse during his ride, I have my Palms earplugs. Um, Dewey can get kind of spooky, especially in the transitioning seasons, so I like to be able to use these whether we're still in the indoor or if it's late at night. It just kind of takes the noise away from him as a distraction, and I feel a little bit safer knowing that, you know, he's focused on me. When I'm done with my ride, I find that it's really important to make sure your tack is nice and clean, so I rely on my 
Belvoir Tack Cleaner. I use this on all of my bridles. I'll use it on my saddle as well. And it really gets the dirt out. And I think that's the most important thing to me, especially as we're getting into the summer months and the horses are sweating and the, the dirt is really sticking to your tack. And once I've cleaned my tack, I have to make sure I condition it because I also like to have nice, soft, supple leather. So this is another great item to have in any sort of grooming tote or tack trunk. Um, I highly recommend it. A lot of people at my barn use it. And sometimes I'll even just use this as a quick wipe down just to make sure everything stays clean and polished. And you need a you know, tack sponge as well. Once I have my tack nice and clean, I also like to make sure that my bit is clean for the next ride. So my favorite thing to use is the Horse Armor Peppermint Flavored Bit Wipes. Um, these smell really great. They do a really great job of cleaning the bit and it just leaves a little bit of peppermint flavor on the bit for the next time. And I think that encourages my horse to want to take his bit um, for the next ride. Well, now that we've finally reached the bottom of my grooming tote, I just want to say thank you for watching and be sure to watch our other grooming tote videos. We want to know what's in yours, so either feel free to leave us a comment or make your own video. And don't forget to subscribe to our videos as well. Have a great ride!